Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 24 of Direwolf20's MC Eternal Let's Play series, where I'm making an enchantment table! Hooray! Because I have a bunch of quests that I can do here real quick, uh, that will get me a bunch of good stuff, I think. Um, I just want to knock out some quest drops, and uh, that's cool, mining dynamite, neat, I'm down with that, and explosive arrows, sweet. Uh, I needed to make an enchantment table, I was kind of just poking around the quest book a little bit, right? Visit the nether, yeah, I've been there. I've been there, I did that, that was cool. Uh, brewing stand, ah, I keep forgetting that you're, you're bad at, you're bad at not being in the mode that I don't want you in. We're all fine. Crisis averted. Fixed. Uh, so you go back there, you go back there, you can go back in here. Reverse TNT. Cool. I think I've got a few more Wither Skeleton Skulls. I do. And I still have another star. Quest completed, quest completed. I was kind of just flipping through my book here, and I'm like, oh, look at all these quests that I could probably knock out, right? Like, I can get these guys. Oh, a Molten Axe. Sweet. Another star got me a, another Flux Boar. Nice, nice. Way to go. Way to go, Minecraft RNG. Get charcoal when dropping down logs. You know, that's kind of cool. I could I could see a use for that. Uh, absolutely. Right? So uh, some of these quests, I absolutely... 500 coins. Nice. Um, and that got me some salt from Mechanism. <laughs> I get it. Because <laughs> you're going to be salty when you go there. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is. Certain ores only spawn in the beneath, such as Osmium. That is correct. What other, like, quest lines have I definitely, like, done a lot of that I can knock out by just, like, doing something simple, right? Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. For example, um, I haven't done this one yet. I haven't really been to Ratlantis. I went to the beneath, kill a Gru and a Summoner Orb are things. Uh, then there's the Limbo Dimension. Don't know a lot about that. And then Twilight Forest, yeah. So we haven't done that too much yet. Magic and spell casting, right. We looked at these. We haven't seen what's in there. Legendary artifacts is just random items. Uh, we've done a lot of these quests, but not that much. 6x item ducks, huh? Have I not done those? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not in a rush. Hardened flux ducks. I don't know if I've ever had six in my inventory at a time. But, yeah, I could probably do that. Hardened flux ducks. There you go. Psst, I did the thing. Actually, do I have to get the Igneous Extruder first? Oh, that's why. That's why. It probably wouldn't hurt to have an Igneous Extruder, to be fair. Um, at some point in the future, we will probably need one. Hooray! Just getting some coins so I can buy some cool stuff in the future if I need, right? I'm not going to make another leadstone energy cell. Am I? No. I'm not going to do that right now. But hey, cool quests. The other one that was major, I think, like a huge quest for me. So there's Tech Reborn, which I might want to play with at some point. We'll see. Um, there's uh, the Engineers and there's Industrial Foregoing. If I got the Foregoing manual, some of these blocks would probably be nice to have. Uh, I should get that. That seems reasonable. Cool. Now, what blocks exist already for me? Um, I might not have reset up my industrial foregoing stuff, but there's some rewards for me. I'm going to get my mob duplicator and grinder as well over here. Cool. Where's my bench? There you are, and you can go back in there. Sweet, and you're still in always active mode. Now you, let me steal this. This is going to unfortunately void a little bit of mob essence, but I'll live. You should be active on redstone, so you're only running when redstone's present. And there's your range add-on. Sweet. All right. So those are both a bunch of quests completed. I have not been paying I told you guys I wasn't really going to pay attention to the quests in this series. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to follow through and, like, step through the quests. But on the other hand, like, while I'm playing along, I absolutely want to collect the rewards that I am owed. Uh, because there's good stuff that you get out of these quests. Right? Ain't that cool stuff? There's plenty of cool stuff. 
Uh, and we will look into, you know, I don't think there's anything else I've already made. And I'm not going to sit here making this stuff for it. I'm just like, I've already made all these things. I should, I should get the base item so that I can collect the reward. So what do we get here? We got a Lava Charm. I think I already have one of those, to be honest with you. Yeah, I do. Uh, shader Sunstrike. Immersive Engineering Shader. Okay, Cherry Cheesecake. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Mm, cherry Cheesecake. Um. And we got a Diamond. Not too shabby. So what's our plans for today? That's a good question. Uh, last episode, we took a visit to the Beneath, right? Oh, that's right. I wanted my Meteorite Compass. There you are, sir. Oh, that unlocked a lot of quests for me. Crescent Hammer I got, huh? All right, so I want Skystone. And I definitely need some of these things. There you are, sir. And then what else did we need from our quest here? Dense Cable White and ME Drive. Okay, that was easy. Uh, Fluix Crystals, I might have some of those, but I'll complete that quest at some point. Energy Acceptor, we made one of those, didn't we? Is that still hooked up to our system? It might not need to be, it's probably in there. Yep, there it is. See, look at all these rewards I'm going to get. Wireless Emmy Crafting Terminal. I definitely want wireless, by the way. I should I should, I should, should get to work on that. Molecular Assembler, Quantum Leak Chamber, Inscriber, Emmy Glass Cable White. You want me to get white cable? Meh. I could probably do that. Sort by number of items. Cable white. How much did I need? Just one. I know I said I wasn't going to go out of my way to craft things. I'm not doing that right now. Forget it. I'm not crafting all eight. Uh, and then the inscriber, which I've already upgraded. So, I mean, we'll get around to it maybe. Let's see what other rewards I can get from this stuff, huh? Lots of monies, which is nice. And some kind of cool weapon, apparently. A music disc. Another one of those scythe thingies. What else do we get here? A bunch of monies. Rainbow crayon. Sweet. All right, cool. So that probably completes most of the quests, right? Mystical agriculture, we will get into. Um, and then bosses and challenges, right? I'd love to get an angel ring, but I checked the recipe. That's one of the few ones that is different. Lead reinforced bow, rainbow crayon. Edit sign, text, color, and font. Well, that's cool. There's another one of those uh, scythe dudes. Uh, music, blah, blah, blah. okay, cool. All right, so quests all complete. Yay. Um, what did we want to do? Uh, we, we, we visited the Beneath last episode, and I started working on Osmium. What I think I'm going to do is try to set up a base of operations there. So to do that, we're going to need to build an area that's going to be safe. Quote, unquote, safe. Uh, so that's going to require building a, some kind of structure or base that I can uh, survive in, and whether that's just a hole in the ground or what. But what I'm thinking is I make a receiver, right? A matter receiver that we can send with us down there. Um, and then we want a wireless doohickey like this, right? Uh, and that would be cool to power the receiver. And then we have our advanced charge porter and then we can teleport to the receiver. So we build like a little spot in the beneath that's safe, quote unquote, and then we would be cool. Um, so that's step one. Step two is I got more ender pearls uh, from my mob farm there. So I do want to get the enderium armor, right? Um, I want to get some of this stuff. So that's not bad to get. I just need to cook up the ender pearls. Uh, was it platinum I was short on though? Yeah, it was. That's what I was. That, that was my problem. So maybe we'll find some platinum in the beneath while we're down there checking it out. So let's pop back in there and see how well we can survive. And I think having the armor on my jetpack would totally help. Now what I'm gonna also do is grab my Feral Flare Lantern to protect just the area that is my new base, right? I could just spam torches around, but all we're talking about is me not spamming torches, and that's that's okay. It hurts. Oh my goodness, little sneaky dudes. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of health missing. This beneath is like shenanigans. 
these dudes are just a little bit amped up, aren't they? Oh my goodness. You are kidding me. This dimension, though. This dimension, though, let me tell you. I should get another grave. Is what I should do. Yeah, no, I was there. I died, I know. Wee, this is gonna hurt. All right, look at all these death spots. Death, 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 death. Dyer dies a lot in here. It's scary. All right, let's see if we can like real quickie uh, set up. Ah, he let me on fire. That's cheating. What did you just do to me? I don't even see him. Is he invisible? Does anybody see a zombie? I hear a zombie. Where's my heal spell? Did I not bring my heal spell with me? Why would I bring a heal spell with me to the beneath? I am a smart person. Heal, heal, heal. Where's heal? It's usually around here. That's heal ally. Here it is, heal. Sweet. I need some kind of like compendium from Electro Blobs Wizardly. Let me put all the books somewhere and I can like search for them. That's what I need. That's what I need. Let's get rid of... I mean, I've got light, and light's cool. Um, let's get rid of it for now, because I don't see a need for light. Uh, unless I get that item that makes it so that the lights stick around forever. And then there's just, like, I don't know, carry torches with me, and that's, like, the only benefit, right? That is a creepy voice. Okay. Oh, my good... Uh, literally, literally split second. What? What even killed me? I can't even tell. I can't even tell what killed me. But if I can get like just a relatively, relatively speaking, safe spot. I just can't even tell what killed me. Oh my goodness, they're down there. That's what killed me. All right, everybody, nobody panic. Super glad that like, you know. Yep, just keep swarming. Maybe now might be a good time to look into that like turret defense mod. How do we feel about that? How much damage do you think those turrets do? I would love it if they did, like, a large amount of damage and could wreck those dudes. I like this plan, and I'm going to execute it right now. Uh, turrets. Open modular turrets, right? Isn't that what it's called? I don't know this mod well enough. Uh, but I know there's turrets, right? Turret bases. Uh, the core of the modular turret. That has more add-on and upgrade slots. Tier 3. Does Tier 3 require Tier 2? It does not. But it's, tier three is probably about where I want to be, right? What's tier four? Tier four would be solarium tier, which I could get into if I needed to. And then this would be the uh, endarium tier. Okay. Uh, and then when we got base inventory, add nine slots of inventory to the turret base that can use. Each slot can only accept this max stack size of four. All right, I just don't know this base mod. This mod enough. Um, tier one turret head, potato cannon, <laughs> gun turret head, range and blocks 18, accuracy medium, bullets. Um, range 12, blazing clay ammo type, projectile damage, one hearts. Shots per second, 2.5 shots per second. Okay. Uh, two hearts, tier three, ammo type grenade. Uh, relativistic turret, a turret head. Uh, range 20, accuracy high, ammo type none, tier three turret base, projectile damage zero. I don't know what that does. Rocket launcher, teleporter, turret head. Do what now? Laser turret heads, that's what I'm talking about. Tier 5, though, and railgun turret head, tier 5. 12.5 hearts. That is cool. Two shots per second for two hearts of damage. So that's four hearts a second, if the mobs accept damage that quickly. So what would be involved in making you? That doesn't look too bad. Should we try this? And just see if we can get it to work. 
I think that's a fun plan. I've really never played with this mod much. Boy, this is a mod that is just screaming automate my crafting. Isn't it, though? All right, I'm going to craft this off camera, and we will be back. I will say the ambiance in this mod pack is amazing. Like, the, the, the sandstorm outside is super cool. And, like, the sound effects of it are awesome, too. Like, really, really cool. All right, so that's a barrel tier four. I need a barrel tier five. Which, by the way, these things are just industrial machine chassis. They're easy. Uh, a couple more I.O. buses, I think. And that's about it. Super close. I just now need a chamber tier five. Oh, my. Be right back. All right, not too shabby. So now I should be able to make my laser gun turret. All right, sweet. Uh, should we try this thing out? So what I'm going to want from Flux Networks, I've got a receiver, right? Uh, for removing energy from the network, yes. All right, put away all this junk. Let's try it out, shall we? I'm not super familiar with this mod. So we're going to come outside, and we're going to try setting it up out here near a dark area, and hopefully get an idea. Oh, that's not, that's not what's up. Uh, oh, hello. That's neat. Um... Why do you not want to do that? Uh, tier five. No, I, maybe I need to be on a tier five base. Oh, that might be that might be a thing. I might need to be a tier five base. Drop the base. I didn't. I didn't. It didn't occur to me that the bases had to match. Ugh. The only problem with the tier five base is it needs. Um, it needs end steel. That's the only thing that I don't have access to is end stone at the moment. So like a sneaky way to make end stone in this pack. No. I'm going to say not really. I mean, if I really wanted to push it, I could do like the fluid infuser thing we just saw, but I'm going to hold off. What I think I'll do is check out if there's a tier three turret that I can use. All right, I'm going to try the grenade launcher turret. Uh, grenades look cool. They're just conductive iron, which is iron plus redstone, right? Uh, so I'm going to get, like, let's say 15 of those. Okay, maybe not. Uh, looks like somebody's going mining real quick. Redstone, please! This pack is fascinating to me because I literally can't remember the last time I was low on redstone. And I really need to figure out what's causing my fall damage. Um, I was pretty sure Dark Seal Boots protected from fall damage. And it's weird, because it's only if I fall, like, a certain height. Um, I, I need to figure out what that's all about, because I just don't know. It's weird. It's weird to me. Weird, weird, weird. Redstone, please. All right, not that I was particularly looking for it, but we didn't get any platinum. I think we got a little bit of nickel, though, so we'll cross our fingers, right? Um, let me get a stack of you. So you're going to go in here with 15 of these guys. And that should be cool. And I don't know if these turrets are going to be any good, but I figured tier 3 grenade launcher might be cool. Might, might not. We'll find out, right? Let's just get like, you know, one, two sets of these. You get 32 per craft, so at least that's like a good amount, right? 32 ammo per craft. All right, um, now grenade launchers and turrets, right? So we've got this, we've got the turret now. I'm going to save my laser turret for the future. Uh, that's just that's just a turret that doesn't need ammo. And the grenades are not terrible. So... Okay. Now you've got power. And you've got ammo. Sweet. Mode. Always on. Always off. Inverted not inverted always on active yes okay uh change of turret should focus fire our yeah attack mobs yes attack neutrals i'm gonna say yes for now that's cool so attack neutrals would you you should be doing this now, there might be upgrades I can apply, right? Add-on turret concealer. Damage boost for effect C tooltips of turrets. Potentia converter recycler has a chance for a turret to not use ammo. Nice. Uh, generates RF per redstone dust and inventory. Enables open computers and open craft compatibility. 10 RF in sunlight. Makes mobs killed by turrets drop loot as if a player killed them. Oh, that's neat. 
Uh, accuracy, efficiency, fire rate. Okay. Stacks up to four times. Interesting. Range, scatter shot. Okay. Are these guys hard to make? Not particularly. A little bit of accuracy and a little bit of damage upgrade wouldn't be too terrible. That looks reasonably craftable. So why aren't you shooting though? Because you should totally be shooting. Should we take him to the beneath and see what happens? Because he's not shooting these little dudes, at least. And you know what? It's actually getting to be dark out soon. So let's... Oh, look. Here's a bad guy. Come here, bad guy. Come here. You're, you're a bad guy. Oh, hello. That was cool. That was cool. I liked that. Hey, you. Come here. Come on. I want I want to see the I want to see the turret kill you. I like that. So it was like that was nifty. Not bad. All right, now we're talking. Drop turret, drop base. Oops. We left that on, didn't we? I won't say I hate these little guys. All right, so that's that's a thing. Oh, I hate you guys too. So that turret's kind of cool. I like that. I do like the explodiness of it. Uh, what other turrets were available here? Just regular gun turret, I think, would be the only other one. Incendiary, huh? That needs blazing clay. Uh, it does one heart of damage. Grenades do two hearts of damage. Okay. I might consider making a tier two turret here just to try it out, like the gun one. Like what would what would what would ammo look like for turrets? Uh bullets. Sixty-four for an electrical seal and a conductive iron. That's not terrible. I almost feel like, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, that's doable. For now, let's stick with this, right? Because I want to try the accuracy and damage boost upgrades. Uh, because pulsating iron crystals shouldn't be too hard to make. Uh, all we need is another ender pearl and another iron. Right. And I'm going to get that damage boost and maybe... I don't know if we need accuracy. It didn't seem to need any mac any help with accuracy, right? I did snag that, didn't I? But damage boost, yes. Damage boost is a very yes. I thought I had a bunch of these. Didn't I make a bunch of these? Or is that is that the that's redstone alloy blocks? Oh my bad. That's silicon and redstone. There you go. Thanks, buddy. I do like that it's all Ender I.O. blocks, though, that you need to use to make the upgrades and everything. All right, so we'll try the uh, damage add-on just to see. So let's bring this. I, I'm, my impression is that we're not going to have a lot of luck here with this turret because the, the damage is not great enough, but we'll see what happens, right? My, my initial thoughts are the amount of health that these dudes have... We're going to need a lot of turrets if we want to defend anything in this area down here. But it's, it's a fun little experiment, right? Now, where are my open modular turrets? That's right. They probably went in here because that's how my bag is set up at the moment. Let's put you away. Oh, wow. You guys are still here, huh? Okay. So, like what I'm thinking is we set you up. We set you up. We give you a this. That's what's up, add-ons. And then I need this dude. Get to work. All right, you need ammo. <laughs> Poor turret. I forgot to give you. I mean, that ain't bad. Dude. And it's area of effect damage too. That is not bad, and we could easily automate that, right? That is not bad. Ooh, Moonstone. 
All right, so now what I want to do. All right, that was that actually worked out better than I had hoped. And the fact that it's a grenade turret really helps. Um, no, not you. Again, not you. All right, dire please. That ain't so bad, right? Now, if we're really smart about about things in here, right? Now, where would where would osmium ore be? You're not going to tell me what Y level osmium ore is at, right? But we're already at Y level 13, right? So we should maybe head down to like 10ish, right? Nine or 10. I don't know at what Y level we start running into craziness. But now we can mine down here, right? Uh, what I'm gonna do is trash some junk that I don't need, just to keep my inventory nice and organized. Uh, and then I'm gonna get out my satchel. I'm gonna drop you and you, because you're technically, and you guy can go as well. And now let's mine down here and see how good this works out. Oh my, darkness already. And ideally, I find some osmium. Now, apparently, osmium is supposed to be common down here. Well, at least, now, it said nuclear craft ores would be super common down here. I don't know if it said osmium would be. But if I'm, if I'm super smart about, you know, keeping things lit. See? That was not super smart. I ran into a dark spot, and that was a mistake. Don't do that. Right, just make sure to be extra careful with your torches, right? I'm used to mining in the overworld where I can let it be a little bit dark. I cannot let it be dark in here. The beneath is very unforgiving if you if you lose out on the light. Okay. Not the end of the world. I'll tell you, a mining gadget would really help right now. I only have that on my mind because I've been working on the 115 port and... Uh, yeah, that would be amazing to have right now, I'm just saying. But yeah, look, we, we set this up and we're pretty cool. So before we go much further, what is that? Oh, that's just like that. Oh no. Is that a troll? I feel like that's a troll. Stop existing, whatever you are. Can you imagine a troll down here? Is it like a multiplier on their health? Does he get up like a thousand health? Let me get away from him. I'm gonna find a better spot to set up my teleporter. Away from away from those shenanigans. I found literally zero osmium so far, haven't I? Pretty much. Pretty much not a single piece of osmium. That is uncool to the max. We could go deeper. I know we found it higher up though, which concerns me because I feel like maybe the Maybe, maybe the, the osmium is like higher up, right? And that would be a problem. Let's just like look around a little bit more and see if we can't find more osmium and I'll be back once I've finished a little bit of mining experimentation. All right, I'm not feeling super good here, guys. Not feeling super good at all. Uh, I've been down here mining for quite a while and found literally zero osmium. I'm gonna try just a little bit higher and just see if, you know, being a little bit higher helps. And if it does, cool, and if not, then We'll have to come up with a new plan. I wonder if that exploding is my turret shooting. I think that could be what those explosions are. Oh, bad guys. Oh, look, they're fighting each other. That's cool. How's my turret doing on ammos? He is out of ammo. Yep, yep, he was shooting. All right, drop base, drop turrets. Give me things. So he did burn through his ammo really quickly. Which is kind of a bummer. Uh, where would I want to put a projectile torch launcher? Like around here-ish? That seems cool. Yeah, like osmium doesn't seem rare up here, but I am definitely not finding it um, uh, deep underground. So I feel like osmium has been going out of its way to be at a higher Y level, so you can't just like tunnel like I've been. Very clever, Mod Pack Maker. Very, very clever. 
I've still got a jetpack though. The thing is now, I don't want to travel too far from my base because it is super easy to die in here. And if I if I don't get a teleport key, I'm in trouble. I mean, I can always make one with an ender pearl, but still, I should be very, very careful. Right? So I will concede that osmium is not that terribly rare down here. If you, it seems to only be on the surface though. Like where I was digging down was not that further a while level down and we found none, but up here, not too bad. And just just avoid the monsters with your jetpack and you're cool. Wow, look at all this iron. Mind if I do. Wow, look at all this iron. This is like a giant iron node. That's cool. I'm vein mining it, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, get out of the darkness, though. The darkness is bad. That's cool. How's my satchel doing? Satchel of holding. Wow, look at all that iron. Woo, that's gonna be fun. Oh boy, creeper. I caught it though. I moved. If you if you check, I ran before he I caught it. That was good. Scary. Scary. But yeah, the osmium is not I wouldn't call it common, right? There ain't nothing common about it. The iron was good. If I found if I found an osmium vein like that, I'd be very happy. I don't know if they exist. I'm just stating a fact. Oh boy. Oh, it's a it's a bad guy. Narcissus Brood Singer. Cinder buff. Oh boy. Ouch. Right. They hurt. His fire projectiles didn't hurt, but boy did he. Boy did he. The good news is, because this is another dimension, um, it unloads probably when I leave it. Though so apparently not so much. What is, where are you dude? Are you like stuck inside a floor or something? I don't even know. I'm just gonna get away from him. Trying to light up the area. Oh boy, the Gru. It's the Gru. I think that's a Gru right there. Ow. The last thing I need. Oh boy, a real Gru. Go spellcasting, go. Where'd he go? There's a quest to kill a group, by the way. I would love to do it. I'm also just doing my best to light up the area immediately around my base. Well, my base being the point where I generally spawn in at. So that when I do spawn in and I jump down here, it's reasonably, reasonably safe, right? Okay, so hold on a sec. I think we're well past wrapping up point, aren't we? Yeah, we are super past wrapping up point. Yes, we are past wrapping up point. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna consider the turrets like the grenade thing was cool i liked that for like the swarm of mobs that was neat um individual mobs i think a gun turret would be better um that said not the worst adventure i've ever been on diorite are you guys not in my oh i guess you're not granite and diorite are now that kind of thing all right cool and andesite too i guess wasn't in there Sweet. Um, not a lot of gems and stuff that I got out of there, but lots of, and I wonder if like other dimensions have other mob spawn type stuff. That would be cool to know. But uh, we got a decent amount of ores that need to be processed. Black quartz, iridium, I don't think I've been paying attention to. Cinnabar, bauxite, moonstone. Do you guys go through a pulverizer? Yes. Lithium pulverizer, yes. Magnesium pulverizer, yes. Uranium pulverizer, yes. And then what do you turn into when you do that? Uranium ingot from nuclear craft. Cool. And osmium ore. Sweet. So we got, is that really all the osmium ore we picked up? Is that really all the osmium ore we picked up? Goodness, I thought I had more. Um, 
Boron. Warning. Radioactive glow. Yeah, the radiation effects are enabled in this pack, for sure. Uh, what I think I'm going to do between episodes, maybe, is uh, upgrade this thing a little bit. He's going to be slow. Uh, like, real slow. But we'll see what we're going to do about that. Uh, I really wanted to, like, focus on mechanism, but I don't know that I'm going to have enough osmium to do any focusing on mechanism. So I think I'm going to try to mine more osmium out of the beneath. If I can get, like, another stack or two, it should be enough to get started with mechanism. And then we'll look at doing mechanism for some cool stuff. That sound neat? For now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and have some more fun in this crazy pack. Uh, mechanism is my goal. Like, I'd like to use mechanism for my primary... Um, hey, cool. Loot rewards. A red backpack. Sweet. Is that as good as my other backpack? Yeah, it is. Uh, my other backpack's already upgraded, though, so my, my backpack's better. But um, I would love to do mechanism as my primary tech because, like I mentioned... Uh, we did a lot of Ender IO and Thermal in the last series, so I'm trying to focus Mechanism so that we can have fun times with Mechanism, right? And and you guys can see something different uh, than you saw last series, right? That would be cool. Uh, for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.